the most bizarre weirdest boxing event is about to happen in september the 11th you got on the main card you've got oscar de la hoya versus uh vitor belfort now oscar de la hoya is coming off a 12 year layoff right and out of nowhere after he's been inspired by seeing mike tyson come back he wants to make a comeback and on top of that he wants to fight vitor belfort who's uh, obviously passed it and um is an mma fighter which is absolutely insane then in the un- a co-main event you've got anderson silva versus uh tito ortiz which is an absurd fight obviously anderson silva looked pretty impressive in his last fight against chavez jr but chavez jr has always not performed at the highest level for whatever reason and then on top of that you've got david hay coming back um to fight i think um fortino what's his name i I don't even know his name but he's a multi-millionaire who's had a couple of uh several professional fights and he he wants to fight against him i mean both of them are gonna square off and obviously david hayes coming off his two losses against uh uh, tony bellew and um this fight does seem to be an official fight it's not an exhibition bout so this is like one of the most bizarre sporting events of this year i think i mean i mean where do you even start you've got oscar de la hoya who's um had all these issues outside of the ring um he's about to come back and he's about to fight a guy who's known as a drug cheat um it's it's just absolutely insane what's going on you've got tito ortiz whose uh, last win was against chuck liddell who's chuck liddell which was way who was way past it and um obviously you've got um uh anderson silver who's come off a good win against chavez jr and you got david hay who's coming off um obviously he's got multiple surgeries he's got two losses against bellew and he's about to fight um he's about to fight this 14 guy who's uh, not for anyone and on top of that he's way bigger than 14 and they're about to square off on this fight and for some reason Triller likes to put on these events now they did actually manage to put on one serious event they managed to win the rights to show i think it was a purse bid for the um lopez versus cambosas fight which is a serious fight and the fact that they paid six million for that fight shows that they're they're willing to invest a lot of money and they're fairly serious about getting into boxing if they're willing to invest that type of money but generally speaking um most of the events that they put on are generally sideshow exhibition circus acts i mean you saw their last fights was against um logan paul and all of these um the, the paul brothers and obviously they'd done the mike tyson versus roy jones fight i mean it's it's generally it's generally a freak show type of events that they like to put on and this is more of an example of this so in my opinion it's just uh it's just a crazy bout and obviously it's happening in september the 11th when uh 9 11 happened um which was obviously one of the days that changed american history forever with um everything that happened after that which i'm not going to get into but anyway my point is um is it's it's a bit of a bizarre event i mean all three of these fights are insane and i've not even seen the rest of the undercard i'm sure there's going to be some nba player or some basketball player that wants to try his hand at boxing who's going to fight someone it's it's absolutely insane that this type of event is happening obviously this event is like um it's obviously happened because of mike tyson mike tyson fighting roy jones and to be fair with you um to be fair that that fight did have some type of intrigue in it i mean seeing mike tyson and roy jones in the same ring together although they're like 20 30 years past their prime seeing them in the ring together is something that's uh it's kind of historic to some extent on top of that you've got all these other events um happen that they put on like the ben Askren versus jake paul fight i mean and they're going to put these events on in the future but to be fair i don't really even though it's a bit of a freak show and it's not something that i want to watch um to be fair uh i feel like there's a as long as there's a market for something i don't mind them doing it as long as they're not um they're not pushing something that's too messed up i mean the jake paul versus ben Askren fight was a bit of a farce i mean the um because obviously ben Askren never was a good striker and jake paul looked really good in there with him because jake paul obviously has been striking for three years but apart from that obviously the mike tyson versus roy jones fight the roy jones versus mike tyson fight was was an intriguing fight i mean even people that uh, were fans of both fighters in the past but wanted them both to retire after they were past it wanted to see that fight just because of the shock value of seeing both legends in the ring together both of them made probably like 15 20 million pounds from that fight i mean it's incredible to think um 
this is what they both have come from. So, yeah, in my opinion, um, if this fight happens, it happens. And um, this is definitely going to be the most bizarre sporting event. Not sporting event in general, but probably the most bizarre boxing event of the year. I mean, just all three of these fights are just absolutely bizarre. But um, if I've got nothing else going on, I might watch it. But I probably won't be watching it. But that's that's just my point of view. Tell me your point of view. Where do you think boxing is going at this point in time? Obviously, we had a huge fight in Errol Spence versus Manny Pacquiao being called off, which was a very serious fight that hardcore fans are lamenting at this point. Obviously, Manny Pacquiao is going to fight Ugas, but generally, where do you think boxing is heading at this point? Do you think it's just going to keep on putting these freak shows on? Do you think it's going to keep putting on these circus acts? In my opinion, I don't really mind it, but as long as they've got credible fights going on at the same time, so as long as we get the Manny Pacquiao versus Terence Crawford, as long as we get the anti Joshua's versus Tyson Furies, I don't really mind if these sideshow freak shows happen because it's just gonna um, engage another market into the sport of boxing, which is just gonna bring in more fans, which I don't mind to be fair. But if it, if it's just these freak shows happening, but there's no credible fights happening at the same time, then I think it's gonna destroy the sport. As long as the credible fights are happening at the same time then um, I don't really mind these freak shows from happening. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Tell me your opinion below and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace out.